trying to build an observatory at his at his um, at his farm. And of course, there were also problems in the colonies. Um, the astronomers didn't have to travel, so that was not the problem. They were not going on dangerous journeys. But the problem was their instruments had to travel. There were not enough good telescopes here to, you know, have every observer equipped with a telescope. So the telescope had the, the instruments and telescopes had to be ordered from London because that's where the best craftsmen were. And the one the man who kind of oversaw that was Benjamin Franklin because he was at that time in London. The problem was that the telescope he had ordered in London was delayed because the, the instrument maker had died. And other instruments were also delayed because Basically, the instrument makers in London were totally overworked because they were getting orders from everywhere. And this is what um, Franklin writes, that the craftsmen um, had promised to live, deliver Franklin writes, but there was such a hasty, no, there was such a great and hasty demand of him from France and Russia and our society that possibly he may keep his word, but we are not to wonder if he does not. He did, and the instruments arrived in time, but only just in time in May, if, you know, a couple of weeks before the transit. And Rittenhouse had decided that he's not really going to, you know, wait for this. He's not going to rely on the overworked um, instrument makers in in England. And he built his own instruments, um, including two telescopes and a clock. And this is his transit telescope, which you can see at the moment in the museum. In the end, there were 49 official um, observers who waited for the second transit on the North American continent, uh, not counting the many, many, many spectators which assembled uh, in the towns where astronomers had set up um, uh, their telescopes. Around the world, for the second transit, there were again 250 astronomers, but this time at 130.